Okay, hi everyone, and thanks for the great response on my previous video, which I uploaded a couple of days ago. So, yeah, there's been quite a few questions coming at me, and I'm very pleased about that. I have to say, though, there are a few of those things which I don't do, or I don't have the facilities to do it, or the equipment to do it. Um, so apologies about that. However, there are a number which I can do, and I will do them um, throughout the next few days and weeks. So the best way of doing it, I think, is to choose randomly. So I literally just pick one, and it comes from Makeup May World. I would love a tutorial on the FX filters available, and how, why they are used. I have been watching your tutorials, and it's helped immensely with editing my YouTube videos. I would love to get more in depth on why one would use a particular FX and what it helps to achieve. I have been using the zoom pan FX you spoke about in a previous tutorial, but I would love to know what the others are used for. Also, the audio FX if possible. Thanks for the great content. So yeah, I will cover that and I will look at the audio FX as well. Um, I have actually touched on this in a previous tutorial, but I will go on it again. So what we're going to do is get straight into looking at the video FX. Okay, so here we are in Video Studio X7, and we're going to go to the FX tab. And this is where we can see all of the different FX available to us. So there's a lot here, and a great deal of them are very similar in some ways. This is because they're basically things which you can just add on to your video. For example, the clouds. Now you can adjust the clouds, you can make them bigger, you can make them more dense, you can make the speed of them move quicker, um, but really it's just like an overlay on top of the video. There are other things which will enhance your video such as brightness and contrast, that is this one just over here. And then there are even more exciting things such as the auto sketch and this will actually draw your video or photo. So lots of exciting things here um, and certainly a lot of things to play around with. So we're going to start from the beginning from A and that starts off with active camera. So active camera will essentially make it look like you're holding a video camera. So this would probably be used if you had filmed your video professionally um, and using a tripod and all that. However, you wanted to give it that sort of home video styling to it as if someone is actually just literally grabbed a camera and is now filming this video. Um, and this would probably be used maybe in a dramatic scene um, or definitely a fast paced scene, something along those lines. Um, something which you would want to make the video more exciting I would say. Because um, if you just throw active camera into any old video it would probably look a bit weird and annoying because the screen would be moving around everywhere and it just wouldn't really make sense. So that's definitely got a lot of use and you can use that for a lot of things. Obviously, if you're already filming without using a tripod, you're already going to get that active camera effect anyway. So you wouldn't really be touching on that FX effect. Okay, uh, next we've got the advanced denoise. And this is going to remove noise from your video. So there's not a great deal to say about that. That is literally what it is. Next we've got airbrush. Now this is going to make your video actually look like it's been airbrushed. It uh, changes the styling of your video um, to fit what it's designed to look like. This is similar to things along the lines of the um, I think there was a comic one at one point, I think they've probably removed that um, when they actually changed your video to make it look like something else. Anti-shake, this is the complete opposite of an active camera. This is to make your um, video still if you've got some movement on it. And I know I actually used this a few days ago uh, for some GoPro footage I did and it was shaking around a bit but it wasn't too much so I put the anti-shake on and yes it does work it does a very good job but obviously if you've got too much shake you probably wouldn't want to use it because what it does it sort of stretches the sides um, to make it not look like it's shaking and you get these blurry lines on the side so you don't want to use that if you've got too much shake but it's very good if you've just got a little bit of shake auto exposure does what it says in the tin basically just adjust your exposure to how it thinks it should be the same with auto level okay auto sketch this will do it's very similar again to what it says it will do. Um, if you apply this to your video or a photo, it will make it look like your video is being sketched out. So quite a nice effect there. Probably good for introductions or outros. Okay, average and blur, fairly similar things. They've both got the same kind of styling to them. Um, not 100% sure when you'd want to use this. Maybe if you were going to blur out the background and then add title 
a title in front but so it's not a distraction the background doesn't distract the title um, yeah I can think of a few reasons why you'd want to use this I think that is probably the main reason you'd want to use it brightness and contrast does what it says on the tin this is going to adjust the brightness and the contrast to what it thinks it should be this is like an overlay bubble um, this actually puts a bubble over the top of your video the next two are very similar as well we've got charcoal and cloud these are putting an overlay on the video and you can adjust these in options okay color balance now this is basically balancing out the colors it does exactly what it says it does um, very similar to brightness and contrast color fixer plus now this is choosing um, stronger colors for your video uh, color shift I'm not actually sure what color shift is exactly um, hmm. it seems to basically just add two different colors uh, I'm not 100% sure on that one someone will have to um, look for that information somewhere else I think uh, okay color pen that's the one I was looking for that's the one I got mixed up with and comic these two are the same as the airbrush very similar to the airbrush and basically makes it look like it's a comic or it's been colored in with a pen crop borders that's basically cropping your borders um, and this can be adjusted in your options along with cropping okay the next three are also along the lines of enhancing your videos they all do a very similar thing de-block, de-noise and de-snow these will all remove defects in your video detail enhancer this is basically going to bring out the edges in things and make things look a lot sharper diffraction now this seems to just add like a sun, sun diffraction into your video probably used if you were going to do I don't know maybe if you're filming something on a road um, or something where the light is going to be diffracted somewhere diffuse glow now this is basically adding the glow but it's spreading it out it's not one intense glow uh, duotone well you can see what that does it's basically just making it um, like a sepia color emboss well what, what this is doing is making it look like your picture has gone sort of 3d it brings it out from the back um, Mm, I can't really think of any reasons where you would use this. Um, maybe if you're doing something with stationery, uh, pen and pencils. Um, yeah, it's, it, these are the kind of things you'd want to play around with, and if you like it, then it's definitely something you could use. Okay, we're back to the enhancements again. Enhanced lighting, FX monochrome. So this is changing it to one single color. Um, FX mosaic. So this is turning your video into a mosaic. FX pinch, pinching your video, FX punch, punching your video. So these are like expanding and contracting. This adds a ripple onto your video. FX sketch, that's quite similar to the auto sketch. It's adding a sketch as well. Swirl, well, basically swirls your video. So does fisheye and flash remover. Well, I'm guessing this is removing flash from nearby cameras in your video shot. I have to admit I haven't used all of these so I could be wrong on some of the things I'm saying here um, but I'm basically just giving you a general idea of what these things do I'm sure I'm fairly close on, on the lines which I should be on um, flip well I'm guessing this flips your video over ghost motion now that can be handy if you're doing a horror film that would be quite a nice thing to use hue and saturation yep well you can see what that's doing that's another adjustment Invert, this is inverting the colours. Kaleidoscope, hmm. Another one which would probably look good on an intro. Lens flare again, this is to do with the sun. Light, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, light, um, when could you use this? Uh, maybe if you were doing like a through a keyhole sort of view. Hmm, not sure. Lightning, well, obviously that's adding lightning. This can be adjusted again. I think nearly all of these can be adjusted in options but you'll be able to change the angle of this, the speed of this, the lightness of this, the opacity of this, loads of different things. Mirror, that seems to be mirroring our video. Monochrome, so this is basically just black and white. Um, mosaic again, I think we've already had this. Motion blur, this is just adding a really, well this seems to be a very harsh motion blur. I'm assuming you can make that fairly light as well if you wanted to. Oil paint, this is making it look like it's been painted with oil, or paints. Old film, that's a very useful one. Picture in a picture, so you could have that with another picture behind. Pinch, which we've already had up here, FX Pinch. Pixelator, that can be handy. 
this is if you wanted to blur out faces or number plates whatever it may be uh, punch again we've already had these up here rain very similar to the clouds it's adding that overlay you can also make that look like snow that's what I did in my previous video ripple rotate these are really self-explanatory uh, roto sketch another sketching one sharpen this is very similar to one we've already had two uh, which one was it another sharpening one detail enhancer uh, there seems to be two of these I'm not sure why um, soft focus yep that would be good again if you wanted to put text in front star strobe motion throw stone lots of different things here tint this is adding a color tint touch up I'm assuming this is getting rid of some defects you might have in your videos video pan that's very useful video tune up seems to be monochrome vignette uh, very yeah that's very good that one um, I use that one quite a lot and you can also have different colors for there too uh, watercolor that's a nice one water flow oh yeah it looks like there's water on top that's a good one watercolor yep another one of these enhancements Whirl, pool, wind. I've used the wind one before. That looks good if you've got a windy video. If you put the wind effect on your titles, because some of these are title effects too. And zoom motion. Okay, so that's a very light touch on all of these. I know I've skipped through a load, and I know that I may have been slightly wrong on some of them because I haven't actually used them all. But hopefully, it gives you a general idea of what these have got to offer. Um, there's definitely a, a wide range of things to choose from here and they would look good on nearly any video but you've just got to make sure that you suit the effect with the topic of your video that's quite a vital thing um, so yeah I think what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to audio effects okay so we're now on to audio effects I've inserted an audio file here if we go to options and then audio filter this is what I'm assuming is meant with the audio effects the filters um, but yeah I have gone through all of these before um, again there is a lot of self-explanatory here a lot of self-explaining um, but yeah amplify now this is basically bringing out that sound it's making it better in a lot of ways I know it's not a very good way of explaining it but yeah it's amplifying it making it clearer and making it easier to listen to I'd say Clicks removal, probably a good thing to use if you would, if you're going to do a gaming video, if you can hear your mouse clicking or any form of click really, this is removing that click. Echo, uh, so yeah, definitely used if you were in an echoey place, maybe in a tunnel somewhere like that. Um, this adds the echo onto your sound. Hiss reduction, now this would be used if you had something nearby your microphone which hisses now it may well be the camera itself some cameras do hiss um, especially the mini DVs and if you add this this is gonna definitely reduce that but you gotta be careful because you don't want it to reduce the actual sound of you speaking or any other ambient sounds long echo well it's the same as echo it's just it's longer again a long repeat is very similar to we've also got new blue effects and this is audio polish these are basically going to clean up your videos and make them sound crisper clearer um, and basically remove any defects any horrible background noise anything you don't really want in your videos that's what all of these do all self-explanatory so best thing to do with them is just have a play around see if they suit your video or not okay moving on we've got all the enhancements here normalize pitch shift remove noise which we've already had resonance reverb stadium vocal reduction and volume leveling so these filters really are a fairly similar thing I would put them all in the same category um, of really cleaning up noise or adding an effect to the audio the stadium which I've just applied um, which will add the sound as if you were in a stadium so they're either cleaning up your audio or they're adding a location if you like to your actual sound so it's making it more realistic to the place that you're in now I know I'm not amazing at explaining this kind of thing but hopefully you understand what I mean by the audio is suiting your location if you're in a tunnel and you add the echo this 
means that your audio suits where you are because you obviously wouldn't have an echo if you were in the middle of the countryside because why would there be an echo? Um, so yeah, it's really matching your audio with your video. So yeah, have a play around, see what you can do. Hopefully this video has helped and I'll aim to get the other videos made in the next few weeks. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.